We're going to use the Tatinga Rip Craft for our two and four line tethers as well as our movable control point operation today. The guys are getting ready to deploy the craft. Very quick to deploy, very light. Bales water out of the back because there is no rear transom on it. Very, very stable platform. Um, so the guys right now are getting it peeled out. We're going to go ahead and inflate it and put it to work. Okay, so the craft is pre-assembled. You've got four connection points on the rig craft, engineered anchors for your connections. So for the two line, we're gonna start up towards the nose of the boat. We're gonna attach our near side or our near bank line. If your objective is within the parameters of the distance of your throwback capabilities, use them. There's no point in dragging out additional rope. You've already got that stuff with you on the bank, so deploy them out. Ensure that the throwback lines you're using are rated for those type of applications. So when you buy your throwback line, know what the minimum brake strings are and what the capabilities are. Remember in water applications when we're using rope, it's not vertical rescue. We're not putting the same loads on the rope that we are when we're dangling off the cliffs, right? So understand the application. So we're going to take one bag, we're going to assemble it to the inside line on the boat. We're going to make sure that our launch point is high enough up river like we talked about we can hit our objective. So our objective is the tip of this island out here. Because our victim is going to be located down on that branch that's hanging in the water. So we're going to want to have a team right there at that tip so they can get on that eddy side on the downside of the, of the uh, island out there and effectively operate this line. When we're deploying rope out, if you're going to use your body belay, remember that the rope's playing out of the downriver side, your control hands on the upriver side. If you want to run across that tree, make sure that tree's down river from you. And make sure that you deploy over to that side with whatever hardware and software that you're going to need to facilitate that possible descent control device or a mechanical advantage. In water applications, we're going to try to stay away from Prusix. We're going to try to use mechanical captures, rescue senders, Gibson senders, um, any type of ratcheting cam is going to grab that rope and pull it. Your Prusiks are going to have a high likelihood of slipping when you're utilizing um, water-based applications when the rope gets wet. You also need to remember that if you are using throw lines, you got to make sure that whatever devices you're using, they're appropriate for that diameter of rope. If you don't have a wide assortment that's going to accommodate those different diameters, then you need to go get your half and stuff and utilize your half and stuff for those upgrade, uh, upgrade options. Make sense? Okay, when we get ready to paddle, coordinate, just like we worked on over the last two days. Stroke, stroke, stroke. One guy can just do rudder control, the other guy's going to be paddling. You want to stagger yourselves, one on one tube, one on the other tube, or sponsoring, and just work together to set the right ferry angle and make your objective. Is that good? Okay, do you think this deployment point is high enough upriver to hit that objective? You're always better to be safe than sorry. So I am overly conservative on the deployment points. I would rather set a comfortable ferry angle and coast down to that point than paddle like a maniac to get to that point. Okay? The only other thing you gotta watch is as you're deploying, your near side tender has to have the ability to come down the bank line and get into position because wherever the end of that rope is, got to come across the front side of all those trees so that he can get it in the position where he needs to be. But guys can pretty effectively bounce down river just kind of navigating that coastline, even if it's swim-based, uh, through eddies and around each, each option to get to their objective. Okay, let's deploy the boat. All right, so when we're paddling, the guy in the rear of the boat is going to be the boss. He's going to use verbal sequences to tell the front control man which side he wants him paddling on and when. So use coordinated strokes, get your boat in the right position. The guy in the rear of the boat can use his paddle like a rudder um, and he can paddle in reverse or forward as needed to alter the ferry angle on the boat. You see they've set a nice comfortable ferry angle. They're letting the current push them over towards that bank, directing towards their objective. Okay, 10 guys, start working your way down river. John, Yo. as the rescuer, when you want to go down river, you want to go up river, you want to go to that bank, 
You want to go this way. Look at you guys. Use your hands to control what you want. When you want to stop, give them this, you give them this. Okay? Once you have the victim, give them an okay. Either one helmet tap or one whistle blast. As you can see our near side team, they're in the correct body blade angle. They've picked a nice stretch of bank where they got an open area to effectively manage this line. They're going to use manpower to pull the line up or to pull the craft over, whichever one is necessary. They've got multiple anchor options to attach if they need to put in a quick descent control device or mechanical advantage option. We're using good hand sequences now in the craft. Our rescuer is using hand control to dictate where he wants to be in the river. And we're now deploying downriver, approaching our victim. Slack both lines. Remember, you can use your paddle and to reach out. Downriver. Use the reaching application to engage the victim. To pull the craft towards the victim. Once he anchors the victim, he's going to pull him up into the open transom into the boat. He's got the victim secured. Now the craft is coming up river. Okay. Very well done, boys.